Hey guys, today I'm going to tell you about my new deck. My new deck is based on a Pro Tour deck, but which kind of resembled the deck I was going to play, uh, the deck I love playing. So I'll go to sideboard, uh, Blood. Blood is very good against aggro creatures, um, decks that are faster than you. A Hall of Triumph, um, you don't actually want too many copies of this card. Wild Slash, only we're missing a copy. Roast, Roast is one of the best sideboard options you have in this deck. It just does every, it kills Rhino, it kills any creature without flying essentially. And Prukonos, um, very good. And the Monastery Taylor Swift. Uh, Taylor Swift is actually not super awesome in this deck. And I'll show you why. Uh, the deck itself is a dragon deck. So believe it or not, it has a ton of dragons in the deck. You got four foothills. Um, I love playing fetch lands. A lot of you have questions why I play fetch lands, and it's pretty much because you want to draw action as opposed to lands, and you don't need that much land to begin with. And I'll show you exactly why. Two temples of malice, blood stain, and we have five, ten, twelve. So twenty-two, twenty in twelve mountains, two swamps, twenty-four lands. Yeah, 24 lands, you're going to see exactly why you need so much land. You don't need that much swamp. You only have one card that has a swamp in it, and that is Colagon. Colagon is very, very good in this deck. The dash, you will always dash him, uh, and I'll show you exactly how you can get him cheaper in play. Storm Breath is very good. Uh, one of the reasons you play this deck uh, is because of this drop, a 4-drop that comes down a lot faster most times, and I'll show you why. Stoke, uh, Hall of Triumph. Hall of Triumph is so good against Circle of Flames. Circle of Flames, essentially everyone in my locals plays that against me, and it's so annoying. But if you if you play your Goblin Fodder, and they play your Circle of Flames, and you play your Hall of Triumph, you pretty much beat them very easily. Uh, Rabble Master, another absolute bomb against Control. They can't deal with it. Hordling Outburst, um, very good. I mean... Pretty, pretty much, it is a very good card. Goblin Fodder, uh, a card I love. And then this card. Again, you have seven dragons. You have seven dragons main board. That's enough to play this card. You're always going to trigger this card. Actually, sorry, not seven dragons main board. You have more than that. You have nine dragons main board. So you will always... Essentially, it's one a red for a lightning bolt to a creature and lightning bolt to a player. Now, the reason... The way my deck differs a little bit is I have Dragon Lord Servant. The card is very good with Colgon. I like it a lot. Um, dropping a Thunder Break a turn early is so unbeatable. Like that just makes it very difficult for them to beat it. Um, also, something interesting to know: it will pump up your Goblin Rabble Master. So playing this one and not having Dragon playing Rabble Master could be a viable plan. I mean, it is. Um, it does have a big body. The body of this particular card is very good against most decks you're bad against. The one deck that you dread most is the a faster version of your deck. And in that case, it just picks off goblin tokens. It pick up picks up uh, picks off uh, soldier tokens from Jeskaye. I mean, there's a ton of stuff. Edleon again. You don't want to play too many of this. I have a main board, but I sideboard it a lot against aggro matchups because you're not the fastest deck out there. And one Jergo. Um, you have a Jergo. Um, he actually replaces my... I borrow my friend Stoke the Flames. So my Jergo should be Stoke the Flame. But um, Jergo's not bad. I just don't like playing him very much. Uh, he seems kind of bad that you can't stack multiples of him. Otherwise, I would play him main board. Overall, the deck is very good. Uh, it does win a lot. It is 12 and 0. I know you guys hate say. <laughs> I know you guys leave in the comments and you always say, how can that possibly be? How can that be? And it's just like casual. Not everyone plays to have fun. Uh, a lot of people, actually, the one of the decks I'm playing, actually, one, two of the players who go to my locals, their decks aren't even like legitimately legal. They are using like M. 14 cards in the deck, but it's fine because we all have fun. Uh, this is a fun, fun deck. Dropping dragons is fun, and you have nine of them main board, but dropping dragons super fast is super fun, right? 
Uh, so the deck is very fun to build. Um, it's fun to play, and uh, I like it. I like it a lot, and I'm going to probably play this deck for a while. Bye, guys.